Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a question on the testing of mean of a population. In the previous video, we have discussed the testing procedure and using which we are going to solve this problem. So the question is as follows: A factory was producing electric bulbs of average length of life, two thousand hours, with standard deviation three hundred. A new process was introduced with the hope that the length of the life of the bulbs would increase. A sample of fifty bulbs produced by the new process was found to have an average length of life, two thousand two hundred hours. so we have to examine whether it is reasonable to think the length of the life of a bulb has increased assuming the standard deviation has not changed at a significance level 0.5 so the things to note here is the previously the average length of the life of the bulbs was 2000 hours that is from the population and the standard deviation was 300 now a new process is introduced with a hope of the life of the the length of life of the bulbs would increase this has to be noted a sample of 50 sample of 50 bulbs were taken and its average is found to be 2200 hours and we have a significance level of 0.05 and we have to test whether the length of the life of the bulb has increased so these many things are given in the question so from the question we can write what all the things are given so solution so here as i have already told the mean mu is 2000 now standard deviation sigma this is the standard deviation of the population so i can write it as sigma which is equal to 300 now the sample about the sample a sample of size 50 is taken since it is 50 bulbs only that we are considering and the average length of that sample is given as 2200 hours so x bar is equal to 2200 and the significance level alpha the significance level alpha is equal to 0.05 okay so these many things are given now we have to write the hypothesis so initially it was 2000 and we have to check what it is so we can write h not mu equal to 2000 actually this is mu not okay actually mu is equal to 2000 against the alternative hypothesis h1 where we have to check whether this has increased from 2000 so this is mu greater than 2000 So mu equal to two thousand against h one mu greater than two thousand. So if these many things are known, we know the test statistic or the test criterion. That is, is it is equal to x bar minus mu naught. Divided by sigma by root n. Yes. So x bar is found to be two thousand two hundred. Mu naught is found to be two thousand. Divided by sigma is three hundred. Divided by root fifty. So on solving this, we will get this value as. Four point seven one. Since the sample has n is equal to fifty, that the sample size is n is equal to fifty, 
This is a large sample and we can see that this z follows a standard normal distribution. So since z follows a standard normal distribution, this is the calculated value, the calculated value and we have to find the tabled value. So we find the tabled value such that probability of z greater than z alpha under h naught is equal to alpha. So this is how we find it and that is like This is alpha. So this is the z alpha value. So this is found to be z 0 0.05 will be found to be 1.65 from the standard normal table which we have discussed while discussing about the standard normal distribution. That is 1.65. So you can remember or you can at least note it as is it 0 0.05 is 1.65 okay so this is the tabled value that is the value we obtain from the standard normal table so we reject this null hypothesis we reject this null hypothesis if calculated value is greater than the tabled value. So here the calculated value is 4.71 which is obviously greater than 1.65 therefore we reject the null hypothesis that is there is an increase in the process. So due to the new process there is an increase in the length of the life of the bulbs. So that is the inference that we have received.